hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we've had a, a change in filming location we're now in my lovely bathroom and i bring you my hair growth wash day so let's get right into it so first of all i am going to do a pre-poo also let me just say if you've not subscribed please subscribe um if you've been here more than once you're due to subscribe yeah so hit the subscribe button hit the notification button and let's get right into it so like i said before i start i am going to pre-poo and finger detangle and to do that i am going to use my trusted onion infused oil that i have created so i'm going to use this on my scalp because i like for it to stimulate growth on my scalp and then on my hair itself i am going to use my hair growth oil which i'm going to put the link up here for you to have a look to start I'm going to spray it with my fenugreek and bay leaf spritz. I'll put the link up here as well. So lightly finger detangle, follow up with my bay leaf and fenugreek spritz, just to soften it a bit. So just lightly finger detangle with your choice of spray. And then I'm going to follow up with my pre-poo oil, which is also my hair growth oil. So as you can see, it's solidified. Like I said in my video, sometimes it solidifies and then sometimes it melts. I just massage that in, focusing on the length of my hair and on the tips of my hair as well. As you can see, it's very tangled the root so oh, I find it easier to actually remove any tangles with my with my fingers before going in with a comb so once I've done that I am going to then go in with my onion oil and then massage that onto my scalp I'm just massaging that into my scalp in small sections just to make sure that each area is covered properly. This oil stinks, <laughs> so if it's not your thing then you should probably just leave it alone but it has a good slip it has more of a slip than than my um, hair growth oil so I massage it into my hair and then twist each section so now that it's all done I am going to go ahead and wrap it up and let it sit for a bit and I'm gonna let it sit for 15 to 30 minutes before I wash my hair with shampoo I'm back it hasn't been 15 minutes it's been a few hours because I had to go and cook and eat I was hungry so that was unplanned but that's what happens and I'm just gonna go ahead and wash I'm going in with native child moisturizing shampoo sometimes I wash in twists and sometimes I wash in four sections today I decided to wash in twists but see what happens in a bit <laughs> So this is a sulfate free shampoo, so it's quite moisturizing. Okay, 
okay so i'm gonna wash it out now and then come back in deep condition so can you see the shine on that hair hair that i've just washed looks very shiny Okay, so I just noticed that my twist didn't actually wash properly, especially at the roots. So I've had to go back in with the shampoo. So I'm just gonna do this in four sections. Twist, sometimes they work for me and sometimes they don't. I'm not sure if it's because of the texture of my hair, but I struggle to I struggle to get my hair clean as I like so I'm just going to undo all these twists and then go in with a bit of shampoo and then rinse it out The water running through my hair is so therapeutic, I just love it. And also I kept looking into the camera because I've never seen my hair like this before. So I was quite fascinated. And it, it just felt amazing. So I'm now going in with my favourite deep conditioner and that is the Jamaican Castor Oil Repair Mask. I love it. People usually focus on the tips of the hair. I like to also focus on the roots because I do have a few short hairs and broken hairs that need growing. So this is me just showing you my texture. So this is the back. Just wanted to show you like the difference in texture. I'm just going to repeat the process of applying the deep conditioner to the four sections and then twisting to put away. So I'm gonna have a shower and then after 15 minutes, I am going to wash it out and then style after that hey so i've just finished washing my hair and also just came out the shower so this is my hair after it's been washed i would usually just go ahead and moisturize using the lco method and then leave my hair to air dry so that's my hair when it is wet so there it is no product so i just want to do a bit of a length check for you so that's how long it is and then if I leave it there <laughs> so yeah so I'm just going to moisturize and I will I will put the link of um, how I moisturize my hair up here and the video 
with the products that I would use now that I'm growing my hair. After deep conditioning, I use cold water to rinse through my hair as cold as I can possibly get it. Obviously, it's freezing in the UK, so you don't want to get, um, you don't want to make it too cold. So, and by doing that, it, it makes my cuticle lie down and then it reduces frizz and it gives your hair some kind of sheen if it has that sheen. So that is very important to close your cuticles so you can also retain moisture for longer and your hair just looks nicer. So if you've um, sat through this, thank you for watching and let me know if you have any tips and tricks for your wash day and if you're doing anything differently to grow your hair as I am. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button and I shall see you in my next